this is the form and it specifically says on the uh, here on the first part hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is fritz and back again with another youtube video about uk immigration so stay tuned hi guys so in this video we are going to talk about the um, british citizenship application i made a series of videos about this british citizenship application and this is actually the fourth video so in this video we are going to talk about the referees but before we begin um, just a disclaimer um, i am not an immigration officer immigration advisor or an immigration lawyer i am just one of those applicants who happens to have gone through this um uh process and yeah uh, and willingly and uh, will happily share to you my experience yeah so here we go you need to have two referees who will endorse your application for british citizenship each referee should know the applicant personally next requirement is um, where the applicant is a child applying one referee should be a professional who has engaged with the child in a professional capacity such as a teacher health visitor social worker or minister of religion so i can't uh, you know elaborate um, this requirement because i didn't have a child who applied for <laughs> you know uh, citizenship as well so um, you may want to uh, do your own research if you are applying with a child and yeah sorry about that next one for an adult application one referee should be a person of any nationality who has professional standing example minister of religion civil servant or a member of a professional body example accountant or solicitor who is not presenting you with this application the first referee doesn't have to be a british so any nationality with a professional standing and next one for all applications an adult or a child on this part the second referee must normally be the holder of a british citizen passport and either a professional person or over the age of 25 the referees must not be a relative so you should not be related by blood and not be a solicitor or agent representing you in this application if someone is applying on behalf of you a solicitor so you cannot use that solicitor as your referee next not be related to the other referee so your two referees should not be related next not be employed by the home office not have been convicted of an reasonable offense during the last 10 years just make sure <laughs> that your referee is not a criminal or not been convicted to any criminal offense or involved in any uh, you know criminal acts if you know the referee personally you can ask them you know without uh, of course hurting their feeling next have known the applicant personally as what uh, it's being told earlier be willing to give full details of their knowledge of the applicant yeah, maybe that's in case when the home office will uh, inquire about the applicant advise the home office of any reason why the applicant should not be registered <laughs> this is the form <laughs> and it specifically says on the uh, here on the first part so passport photo of the applicant not the referee the uh, referee is like um, confirming that the applicant is the one in the picture before you paste or you attach the picture on the allocated box you need to write your full name and date of birth so it should be the referee who, who should write your full name and your date of birth that's again to confirm that you are the um, correct applicant you know so actually they have no way of checking if um, you've they actually written your uh, full name or, and your date of birth because it's been glued this is how i submitted my um, reference for referee form 
when I went for my application, it's already been glued. If you've encountered some of the videos here in YouTube, they actually um, scanned their own referee form and uh, attached it and submitted it online. So you can also do that. So what they did is they did scan the, uh, the form with their photo and they scanned it again showing the back side of the photo with their full name and their date of birth so on the last part they will have to write their full name and their signature and the date when they filled in the form for the second referee you can actually ask someone who is not british by blood because they they were only asking for uh, someone who is a holder of a british citizen passport um, regardless of their you know origin so if for example um, you know someone a filipino by blood who is already a british citizen um, you can ask them to be your second referee so that's what i did so actually i have um two referees that are filipinos by blood but already are citizens here in the uk aside from that they also have to fulfill the other requirements that have been mentioned earlier so that's it again thank you very much for watching this um, youtube video and hopefully it um, answers all your questions and again good luck with your application if you are new to this youtube channel um, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you would be notified with the other videos about British citizenship application. So, so if you haven't watched um, the other videos that I have made in this mini-series, um, it's all in the description down below so you can check it out after this video. So thank you again guys. See you on my next videos. Bye.